Carrot Tour. The horses' names are Silver and Gold. Gold and Silver, and they are brothers originally from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And I'm from Bermuda. Casemates Prison, sorry, uh, our maximum security prison for men. The British Navy built it as a barrack in the early 1820s, then it was turned into our prison. So most of our goods are imported from the U.S. We triple the price, and then you guys come over here and buy them up and take them back to the U.S. <laughs> uh, we get visitors from all over. We may get container ships, cable ships, uh, warships, tall ships, even submarines might have to stop here to refuel for mechanical reasons or just for some R&R. &R. So of course the captain will pick the most talented crew member to come off to throw some graffiti on our walls. And the reason why they look so fresh is because school kids came out here last year and repainted most of these emblems. But they date back to the early 1900s. A water tank can hold about 10,000 gallons of water some hold more, some hold less, depending on the size of your life. Now, when it is raining, if you look at the edge of this roof, the rainwater is guided to the corners of the roof to the pipes. The pipes lead down into the tank. That's the entrance to the tank. The tank goes right underneath the house. The water pumps from the tank up into our faucet. We don't have to treat the water. But we get our tanks replenished with free rain water. We get an average of about 70 inches of rain per year, two months without rain, it's considered a drought. And if your tank gets low, then you call the water services and a water truck will come, fill up your tank, and then you have to pay for the water, it's no longer free. So every other year you need to get up on that roof and clean it. You would take a wire brush or a power washer, scrub it down, use a bit of Clorox bleach to help to disinfect the roof, and then you repaint it with the cement and lime wash to get the white finish. You might see some chickens roaming around. We have a lot of wild chickens and a lot of whistling tree frogs. They are the sound of the night. And if you turn around and look out there, you can see how far we've come from the cruise ship. There's our ship. Now, we don't have many celebrities here that live on the island, but I do know that Michael Douglas has a home here. Him and his wife, Catherine Zeta, they spend a lot of time on the island. Uh, I heard their kids go to school here. Uh, people don't know, but Michael Douglas's mother is a Bermudian. She's a Bermudian. She runs the Ariel Sands Hotel. Uh, the mayor of New York, Michael Bloomberg, he has a home here. And so does Ross Perot. A little short guy with the big ears. <laughs> he has a home here as well. This was a breeding ground for mosquitoes that were helping to spread the yellow fever. And what they did to fix the problem here they never had to use any pesticides because they just trenched it out right under the carriage and all the tide flows in and out of this lagoon killed all the mosquito larvae that was breeding here. But this was never fresh water. This was brackish water, salt and fresh water mix. And that's why it's so important for us to collect rainwater because we don't have any fresh water lakes, rivers, streams here. It's all brackish water. Our last major hurricane was about five years ago, Hurricane Fabian. 160 mile an hour wind gusts, and we don't have anywhere to evacuate to. You stay in the home until the hurricane passes. But like I said, they're built very strong. I always feel safe when they say a hurricane is approaching. The rest are dying to get in. <laughs> British Navy Cemetery. You notice it's very clear at the top of the bottle, then at the bottom it's white, it's all the cloudiness that's settled at the bottom. That means beautiful days ahead, it's okay to go fishing, but eventually that entire bottle will cloud up. And it lets the fishermen know uh, you don't want to go out there because you may not return. Shark oil, and it's taken from the liver of a shark. Now Mexican can leave are good for high fever. If you've got a high fever, you would get someone pick these leaves, cut 
cover your chest up at night and it draws out the fever. You've got swollen knees and ankles? Wrap these leaves around your knees and ankles and it takes the swelling down. Now, this prison can house about 200 prisoners. There's about 170 prisoners here today. We do have a women's prison at the other end of the island, but there's only about 10 to 20 women there, because women know how to behave here. Honduras is very different than it was 60 years ago when we came here on Honduras. No maximum security prison. <laughs> no minimum security prison. Uh, we're enjoying it very much. Yeah. Yes. You like the uh, tour so far? Yes, the tour is good. I mean, we've never been on this part of the island. Worthwhile.